just hold it. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Elliot Bartling. I'm a sophomore at Westside High School. Bada boom. And this is my poem, Palette Cleanser. The waters shine and glow with lily pads gracefully yet clumsily floating atop it, matching the cottony clouds in the big blue of the sky and perfectly complementing the softness of the almost impossibly green hills. Sunshine illuminates every possible place, leaving a smile on every flower and blade of grass. Even the weeds have traded their usual sour expressions for less sour smirks and grins. Birds build their nests in each and every tree, singing a tune only known to them, harmonizing with the bells of bikes and ever so slight splish splashing of, from hungry fish who've just eaten, making crowds of tiny bubbles. Bees lazily flap from blossom to blossom, admiring the few colors they can see, but that's never gotten them down. After all, gray flowers still make the sweetest of honey. A mother bear and her cubs snuggle in their cave. It's too bright and early for them to wake up, so they savor the small moments in which light slides through the cracks of their comb, making shapes on their walls in cinnamon sugar fur. Maybe they'll go for a stroll later by the pond and skip pebbles. It never really worked out. Pebble skipping was never about that. It was about, it was about seeing the cubs play fight and roll down the hills, having to pick twigs and bugs out of their hair. Their mother telling them good night and them thanking her for the best day ever. The day hadn't even started yet, but the mother bear wouldn't make it start. Those kind of things you have to let in like the sun happily seeping through the rocks of her home, the birds singing their morning tunes just because, the bees' fondness for flowers they couldn't see, and the mother bear's love for her cubs who couldn't skip pebbles. Next to the pond, in her cave, the mother bear holds her cubs close and goes back to sleep. Thank you.